um, have your breasts ready. You don't want to use lubricant with these um, because the silicone is designed to grip the skin better and the lubricant defeats that purpose. So what you want to do is go ahead and take your two hands like this and you're going to want to flip this flange backwards to make an O shape like that. So I hold it like this with my two fingers and that kind of keeps it flipped back. So you want to watch your backflow protector. When the pump actually suctions, it's going to pull the backflow towards the back. So that's important to pay attention to when you're doing this. So you'll want to hold your breast and you want your nipple to be going right towards the middle of that circle there. So you want to get it nice and close so you're ready to attach it. And then you want to watch that backflow protector. So when that backflow protector suctions out is when you want to go ahead and apply your nipple into the tunnel as far as you can. So I'm going to watch it. It's going to release and then suction. So we'll just keep an eye on that. It's released. So now as it suctions, I'm going to deploy my nipple and then gently go ahead and pull those sides back against the breast without snapping it. And you'll be able to see, once that's going, that my nipple is nice and far in here. My areola is touching here, which does not cause any discomfort. And it's suctioning, and there is a little bit of motion, but it's not rubbing constantly. And that's really important for, like me, I have a little bit more of an elastic nipple. So in a regular flange, it pulls and rubs and is very uncomfortable. I found immediately with my first use that the pump and towel was way more comfortable, but it did take a couple tries to get used to getting it on correctly the first time. So if you don't get it right away, don't give up and be discouraged. It does come with a little bit of practice sometimes. So that's how you're going to go ahead and get it on. If you don't get it on right the first time, don't try to just pull it off. That obviously is not going to feel good. So you can take your finger and stick it in here, break the suction and then remove your nipple and breast from the flange. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Just takes a couple of tries to get it down right, but once you get it, pumping is so much more comfortable and it'll be a lot easier over time once you get into a routine with it.